Yo, what is up guys? I hope you guys are having a great day. And uh, in today's video, we're gonna be building some uh, jet ski bunks for the back of my truck. Um, it will help with like loading and uh, I'm even gonna add like a little hand winch. So uh, it'll be less stress on our backs when we, so we don't have to like pick them up, put them in there. So yeah, uh, I'll show you guys what we got and then uh, we'll start building, so let's do it. All right, so this is our supply list. Um, as you can see, we got some two by four by tens. Uh, that should be plenty of wood. And we even got some PVC pipe. Um, not sure exactly if we're gonna need this, but uh, I'll show you guys what I had thought originally. But uh, we may have to change up our design a little bit. Um, but yeah, so a bunch of fishing stuff back here. So I have to clean all this out and then uh, get the wood and stuff out. And then uh, start cutting some wood and uh, first do some measurements so it doesn't end up like the uh, jet ski cart but uh yeah we'll do some measurements and start cutting and then uh hopefully start piecing this thing together so let's do it all right so this is kind of my plan that i got going on um obviously cut off the ends of this and then uh slit the ends of this so when the tailgate folds up um it'll fold up nice and even and also cut the ends like this um help with loading but yeah um obviously i have one over here then one on this side and then in the middle we're gonna uh put a four by four and then mount the hand winch on top of that um help things go a little easier uh with loading um but yeah so now we're gonna obviously um measure that distance cut those angles and then uh, cut this off and then probably do the same for the other boards put some bracing in and then uh, we'll make a second one obviously and then uh, we'll figure out the um, winch part so let's get on it So we just knocked out one jet ski bunk and uh, obviously they're turning out pretty good. Um, yeah, and I like how they fit exactly in the grooves of the uh, rubber mat I have. So yeah, number one's done and uh, now we're just gonna knock out the second one. Just knocked out the uh, second bunk and uh, they're turning out pretty good um, but now we're gonna go ahead and actually pull up a ski and uh, see how far apart they need to be and uh, just make sure everything fits all right so let's do it just got the ski pushed up on here and it loads so much easier now that those things are in but uh yeah as you can see the fitment pretty good um pretty good for just kind of eyeballing it um but yeah super solid definitely not going anywhere so i don't even know if i need to put the uh like the rear bunks you guys know um not sure if i need to put those really not sure if it help in the water with loading and stuff um yeah as i have it right now i'm pretty sure this is good spacing um it's not rubbing under any it's not rubbing on anything and i could definitely fit the second one um so yeah so we'll probably just add some uh bracing from here to there and then uh obviously bracing for the the winch um yeah this thing's coming along for sure so uh let's add some of those bracings 
and then uh, try to figure out the winch situation. Middle pieces are in, so this is all one piece now, and uh, it's actually really good because it's just gonna be super easy when I need to uh, load a dirt bike or anything. I can just slide this whole piece out. Um, so now we're gonna work on the winch part. Um, so we actually have to remove the winch first, and we're gonna be taking it off the uh, Sea Dew because this one's kind of old and ghetto, and we have a new one for it. So I'm just gonna use this one. Um, for the stand-ups should be fine. So we're gonna remove that and then uh, work on mounting it up. So let's get it. All right, so as you saw, we just got this winch off. And uh, yeah, this is why we're replacing it. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it got chewed up in the uh, gears at one point, um, probably from the previous owners. Um, but, so yeah, we're just gonna cut it off right there and then uh, hopefully just re-sew this hook on or make it uh, even probably an easier hook for the uh, front of the jet skis because um, we don't need it to actually hook on and uh, this be like the main point of like um, what it holds on to. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and cut that off and then uh, hopefully sew up a new one. So yeah, and then uh, we'll figure out how to mount it up um, probably just build like a little square right there and then put the uh, 4x4 and then mount the winch on top. So let's get it. Just got the uh, winch post mounted in there. Um, I'm hoping it's secure enough. Uh, the only way to tell is really try it out. Um, I know it can definitely pull the skis in just uh, off the stands, but problem is uh, at the lake, uh, it's pretty difficult. So I don't know, we'll just have to test it out. Um, if it doesn't work, we'll just revise it. But yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead and mount the winch on the post. And then, uh, yeah, I think we're almost done with this thing. So. Heck yeah. Got the winch all mounted up. It's pretty solid. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove everything and then slide the skis in. Uh, probably test the winch out to see if it holds up. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and put a cross member um, right here just to give it some that extra support when it's uh, pulling something. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, give it a try. All right, so we have both of the skis pulled up on there. Um, fitment is really good. I'm surprised everything actually lines up um, correctly. Um, yeah, super solid. Um, we always put a tie strap around the back and then uh, hook it in. So don't have to worry about it flying backwards. Um, yeah, everything's pretty much um, set except the pulley. Um, I knew I was gonna have problems setting it right in the middle uh, of it binding up, but I really don't wanna go buy two and uh or just buy another one um so what i'm planning to do is just run a bar across and that hooks up on both uh fronts of the skis and then uh it'll pull it evenly so hoping hoping can definitely do that um i don't know i just need it enough to get it up on the truck and then we can drive out of the water um but yeah so so far this thing works pretty good 
Um, I definitely have to secure it to the back of the toolbox somehow because obviously it's just pulling the winch forward and not the skis. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's pretty good to go. So yeah, we're gonna unload the skis and then uh, probably try to figure out a way to secure that and then run the bar too. So let's do it. All right, so as you can see, we just got the skis pulled out and I uh, just made a quick, a quick trip to Lowe's and uh, this is what I got. So my idea is um, drill it down there, stick this in, tighten it up, and then uh, ratchet strap it from that hook to this. And uh, it'll be secure, hopefully. And uh, then it'll be also removable. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, drill holes for these and then uh, bolt them in. And then uh, hopefully it'll be sturdy. Let's see. So as you can see, we just got the uh, the points, mounting points mounted up and uh, tied down with the ratchet straps. So we did that for both sides. I don't know if you can see that one, but yeah. So we did it for both sides and uh, the winch works way better after that. Um, obviously it wasn't pulling towards itself. Um, but yeah, so I think this is pretty much the end of this project. Um, I might put the extended bunks this way um, but I don't know I don't really see a point for it and I don't really want to drill into the uh, tailgate um, so yeah I'll probably throw a couple more screws in um, there's only threw one on these little support beams so probably throw a couple more screws in and then uh, ratchet strap it back but yeah so this has uh, been a super fun project and uh, I think this is the end of this all right guys that's gonna be a wrap for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and uh if you guys like this video definitely give it a thumbs up it helps me out a lot and uh if you're not subscribed subscribe um yeah thank you guys so much for watching